Hi, everyone. I'm your host, Suzanne Murray, and we are back with the Pure 21 podcast, and this is going to be the best episode ever because we are talking about digestive enzymes, and Melanie Lips is back with us. Melanie, hi. Hi. Thanks for having me. Aren't you super excited about digestive enzymes? I am. I can't wait <laughs> to educate people. Okay. So this is one of the things with the Pure 21 program that, that is in it from the beginning. So you know, when I started started the program, I was like, oh, I don't want to take a pill after every time I eat. But once I understood a little bit about it and why it's part of a reset, I'm like, all right, I'm in. And it doesn't take much for me to get in. But <laughs> I mean, I, I listen to anything. But that's why you're here. Will you introduce yourself just for our new listeners? Yeah. Hi, Melanie Lips. I'm a registered dietitian. I have been in the field for over 20 years. I hold a master's in sports nutrition and I've worked with people in all walks of life. And you are also a friend of, I just found this out, Chris, Patty, Matt from like back in the day, you've been at the warehouse sales? I have. I have. Yes. I love that. All right. Friends and family. Okay. So let's get right to it. Melanie, explain to us really what a digestive enzyme is. So we have these natural occurring digestive enzymes. They're proteins in our body that it makes to break down food and aid digestion, right? So we're looking at how it's breaking things down and how it's going to help our digestion through our system. Okay. All right. So in the program, 30 minutes before or after they're saying to take a digestive enzyme, what's that going to do? help with? Like wh what's the point? to truly help break down the food that you're putting into your body, right? Okay. Digestion starts within your mouth, right? Within the saliva. That's where how it all starts to break down. If it doesn't start, we need something to help kind of push it through the system because our stomach, our small intestine, and our pancreas all make digestive enzymes. So if something's not working, that's not going to happen. Things are going to get held up in our guts. We want to make sure things are getting through. So this is kind of part of like the full gut health. Correct. It is for sure. And I think the thing with the um, the digestive enzyme in the program, mm -hmm. 21 natural enzymes to promote the maximum nutrient absorption by helping to break down our macronutrients, our carbs, our fats, and our proteins. Okay. So say that one more time. What is a macronutrient? Macronutrient is your okay. carbohydrates, your okay. fats, and your protein, the three main big food groups. And this will kind of help break that down once it hits the system. Exactly. It's like a little – it's just – that's what I need for sure. Okay. Why do we need them as a supplement? I think the other thing too with that is yeah. it's to help the body rid them of toxins. Okay. Right? So we've put all this stuff in our body for years. Like process. Years. Yeah. Diet Coke for me. Yes. Anything processed. And yeah. we want to get rid of those toxins. Knowing that, of course, you're still going to slip up. Things are still going to happen. But if we can try and get these out to get our body back to some normalcy, right? Mm -hmm. Some normal digestion through that get relief from any gas, any bloating that's happening within our system. Okay. That well, I mean, when you feel bloated, when you when you have like you just you don't feel like yourself, it's it's honestly miserable. It is, and that's what's going to help. And you know, with that, you also need to increase your fluid intake. We okay, need to I was get just more about water to ask in. you. Yes, cuz we can take these enzymes but one you need to take them with water. Right. Right, you need to be taking enough water in to actually truly help flush out those toxins and get keep your body hydrated to get things through your system. So I back in the day, like ten years ago, I used to be a health reporter and I would interview doctors all the time. And I interviewed a cardiologist in Cincinnati and he said, Suzanne, if you can do one thing, I said, What's one thing we could all do every day for our health? He's like, When you wake up, you need to have a full eight ounce glass of water before you do anything else for your brain, for your body. He said it kind of just tells your system, we're ready, we're going to start the day. Do you agree with that? I do, and some people like it warm, right? Yeah. Instead of doing yes. like hot I, tea. I do now warm with lemon because yes. I, I feel like I've graduated. Right. But before the coffee, before anything else, your body needs hydration. What does proper hydration mean to your body? That list could go on and on. I okay. think the biggest thing is that we need to get our body hydrated right? So we need to break things down. We need to make sure we're drinking enough, right? Yes, you're going to be constantly going to the bathroom for a while until your body gets used to it, but yeah, that's the way you get rid of toxins, right? Right. So you have to have that in there. Your skin's going to be better. Your mouth won't be dry all the time. I've read all kinds of things on this Pure 21 Facebook page about skin, sleep, mouth. Exactly. Yes. And I I'm think- I'm glad you're of, saying this. Yes. And I don't think people realize how much you need to take in. That old saying of, oh, eight, eight ounce glasses a day. No. You, no. Right? It it's depends. more, right? Yes. And really to get it to start again, to start simple, right? So start with maybe that is what you want to start with, 64 ounces. 
truly aiming for at least, at least half your body weight in ounces should come from water. Yes, you can have coffee. Yes, you can have tea. Okay. There's other do things. Do coffee and tea, question, count as part of your water intake? They do. That is a change. Okay. I would have yeah, said years ago. Say, it was not I used to not, but now no. we, we've changed that rule. We have, but I also like to point out with that, it is a diuretic. So okay. when it has caffeine, not yep. necessarily the tea could be decaf, so it could coffee. But so what I mean by that is it's stripping the water from you. Okay. So I like to tell people, if you have that coffee, fine, but drink more water because you want to help flush that out. Okay. I got it. All right. Okay. All right. So some people might need this. So say you're not on Pure 21. Would you con- consider taking digestive enzymes, you know, after the program? Like, would that be helpful? It could be, right? Because you're yeah. still going to get those benefits of the gut health, your energy level, right? We're going to have less fatigue, less pain. You know, the thing that's not known because it's not regulated by the FDA, yeah. we're not sure what side effects there really are to it. Okay. I got it. Okay, so what's the difference between a digestive enzyme and a probiotic? They both are going to affect your digestion, right? Okay. But they happen in different ways. The probiotics are those live organisms that are in your gut, but they don't have the ability to break down food. Okay. Right? right. Where your digestive enzymes can help break that down. The probiotics don't do that. So what exactly do probiotics do? Like if I take an oral probiotic, like what, if you had to just summarize, like how does that help me? Well, it's still trying to help move toxins and okay. get things out of your system. Okay, but it just doesn't break it down like a right. digestive enzyme. Correct. Okay, so in essence, would it be good to take both? Yes. It, yeah, it, especially it, if it, you're doing a reset. Yes, and it can't do harm. That's the other thing. You know okay. what I think? A lot of people get their pro- probiotics from lots of foods. Okay. Right? So those natural occurring foods that you well, can I find always in see, I mean, yogurt companies are making a sweet mint on the right. contains probiotics. Like, yes. Can I get all my probiotics from a yogurt? You're going to get a good amount. That's why you see people doing it on a daily basis. Okay. You know, and, and women, if we end up having any UTIs or anything like that, yes. that's a big thing I have push. a friend that swears that the reason that she doesn't get them is because she eats yogurt every morning. Like, she brings it on trips. Yeah. But it's a good thing to get that the yeah. that lactobacillic acid through, right? So you want to get that in on a regular basis. No one wants a UTI. No. No. <laughs> Sorry, guys that are listening. Okay. <laughs> So any advice for someone deciding if they want to take a digestive enzyme? Well, if you're on the program, it's going to help. It's part of the program. I say stick to the program. But just in general, any advice? Yes, I do agree, Suze, that definitely stick to the program. Follow it. Make sure you're taking it three times a day. But it is a good jump start to your system, right, as you're making your lifestyle. You're making this a lifestyle change to that whole unprocessed foods, right? You're looking to get fresh fruit and veggies, lean yep. proteins, and whole grains. So again, jumpstart to the program this I mean thank you so much I I feel like I've, I have a burning last question and I just forgot it oh I got it digestive enzymes so say we're on the program and we didn't take it within the 30 minutes do we if if this was you and would you skip and just wait till the next time you eat or is is there a point of just taking it in the middle of the day you want to focus it around your meals yep. and that would be the best thing I think it's one of the things lay it out take it when you're drinking that glass of water yep. when you start your meal Okay, another question. Before or after, what's better? I think you're more likely to remember if you take it before. Okay, but it really doesn't matter. Mm -mm. Okay, awesome. Melanie, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Please come back and visit us with all your expertise. Thanks for having me once again. All right, bye. Bye.